What's that? Yes. Music, music, music. Here's my question. Yeah. Say I'm a consumer. Yeah. Say I enjoy the music of Loud Swing. Right. Why aren't you selling CDs right here at the convention? That would make sense to me. Why aren't you? Well, Richard. What? You, someone uh, gave you some incorrect uh, information. The web lied to me? Yeah, we actually do have our CDs here. What? And t-shirts, <laughs> and bumper stickers, and kazoos. And That's I, awesome. You know, you're a good band. You're a really good band. It wouldn't kill you to play a show. 
while you're in town. Oh, we're playing a show tomorrow night. What? Yeah, we're playing a show tomorrow night. Right here on this stage. On this stage? Yeah. That's gonna make Saturday night really special. I mean, it's... It's, funny, it's, like, it's actually called Saturday Night Special. That's what we call it. Well, slap my face and call me Susan. Susan? Thank you. And then, I guess, guess what, Rich? You're gonna what? love this. What? After the show... What? And, and again on Sunday, we're signing, uh, if you buy a Loud and Swing item, we'll sign it for free. What? Yeah, even Steve. It's like money means nothing to you. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, got me off guard of that one. Well, that's good to know. So there are CDs, there are shirts, there is merch here. You are playing a show and you are signing it. Well, I just had the whole thing wrong. I feel so silly. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna I'm gonna read the website. I, I my mistake. Yeah, read the website. But I'm right about this. Our next guest is an original gangster. He was here long before we were here, and he'll be here long after we're gone. I don't know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for the dulcet tones of Mr. Jason Mans. <laughs> Yet. No, we said hi. hi. I, did, I did say hi. I think that, was, that might have been it. That might have been it. I think yeah. that was it. Yeah. Uh, that was a great start. It's okay. <laughs> kind of on fire right now. <laughs> um, um, so what do you, uh, you, sometimes, on occasion, yeah. we have been known to sing a song together before you guys leave the stage. Ooh. I don't. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's like you didn't read the website either. No. It's up, I don't, you know, it's up to you. No, it's oh, it's happening. <laughs> well, then I'm, I'm going to get the hell off the stage. Oh, you're you're singing in the song too, I am. buddy boy. Yeah. Oh, I really didn't read the website. Like a 
Jason Mann's, everybody. Thank you very much, Patrick and Jason. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Mann's. Thank you. So I, I got to hand it to those guys. We literally just set high. That was all we said. So there was no like, hey, you want to do Wagon Wheel today? Or We haven't played that in a couple weeks. So good job. <laughs> So I, I might I might drag that lovely gentleman back out on stage before it's all said and done, if that's okay with yeah. y'all. Yeah. But uh, for those of you who um, have known me now for three minutes and 37 seconds, <laughs> my name's Jason Mans, and uh, I had the honor and the privilege of having a little bit of music on the show, and uh, an even bigger honor and privilege of being buddies with these guys for uh, quite a long time now. So. Uh, sometimes they let me tag along and play a new show, which is fun. Um, so I have dubbed these panels my my concerts. <laughs> so if you have a question, feel free. Uh, it will also be somewhat of a concert, because I'll play some tunes. So I'm going to play a tune right now, and, uh, and if anything strikes your fancy that you would like to say to me, Comments, questions, concerns, <laughs> life advice, <laughs> feel free. Concert. Um, I was wondering what you would ride into battle. <laughs> what would I ride into battle? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say I need more information. Is this a modern warfare battle? It can't be. It can't be. So I get to pick the battle and pick what I'm riding into it. Okay, I would like to ride a tank into a medieval battle. (laughs) 
Thank you for the question. I, I feel very powerful right now. Hi. How are you? I'm good, Jason. How are you? Really good. Great. Um, my name is Nicole, and I come to almost all your stage shows. I oh, hi, Nicole. Them. Thank you. It's really great to finally get to see you in person. It's great um, to see you, too. Oh, Am I willing? Yes. <laughs> Will I mess it up? Probably. <laughs> similar uh, music can be that isn't similar, if that makes sense. Yes. <clears throat> so that was a song by Conway Twitty, written a long time ago. This is a song by Prince, written <laughs> not so long ago. <laughs> but I think that you'll find some common themes. <laughs> Oh, it's your time and you 
That's a good question. And do, do you mean how, how it's been to see Jared Jensen's relationship yes. form over the last, you know, 12, 15 years? Yes. Um, well, they, yeah, Anne? Specifically in, in the early years, too, when they were first figuring out how to make this magic and then present it. Such a sexually charged question. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, I'll put on my driving gloves and I'll try to navigate these waters. Uh, well, in all honesty and sincerity, uh, the I knew of Jared and, and, uh, and Jensen, and I probably had met him before, but he had worked with another buddy of ours on some stuff. And uh, and so then when you know both got cast in the show and they were you know hanging out before they shot the pilot. I remember um, Jensen saying, you know, kind of describing the guy that he's going to be working with on this new show, and and he was, I feel like I can't say compliments without it sounding <laughs> terrible. But he, he was like, I was like, dude, what's that guy like? And he goes, man, he's kind of awesome. And I was like, all right, well, that's good. You're going to be working with him a lot. He goes, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's really tall. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's pretty smart. And, I, and he's from Texas, and he's just a good dude, and I'm excited about working with him. And that was kind of the first impression, you know what I mean? That was just kind of the initial thought. Um, and then, you know, I think that it is nearly impossible to work or live in that close of proximity with someone for so many years in an environment like that, which can get stressful and stuff. Um, <coughs> without having, you know, moments of issue, you know what I mean? Um, but they really are, they're like brothers, you know? I've got an older brother that we we could have an argument, and it sounded like a bad argument. And then 10 minutes later, we were like, all right, what do you want, what do you want to eat? What's for lunch? <laughs> and those guys have that, which is really helpful. And I think it's why they're able to, you know, work and, and be in such close proximity, you know what I mean? They, they don't have to put on a facade with each other, you know, because they're, they're just brothers, you know? So if one of them's not feeling it, he can say, man, I'm not feeling it. And I was like, I hear you. I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it has been really awesome. I mean, it really has developed into, like, not just them, but the whole cast and the whole crew. Um, I mean, it's a, I mean, I know it's a, it's a hashtag, but it's, it is a family, you know, a supernatural family, because they, um, all those guys, uh, Rich and Rob and Matt and, you know, um, legitimately we're happy to see each other and, and we hang out in the off time and we, you know, we, our families, our kids play together and stuff. So, it, and I think that's part of the reason that it's such a phenomenon, you know, like it, it, we, we don't want it, I definitely don't want it to end. <laughs> and, uh, and I know those guys don't want it to end either because it's just really fun, you know, to hang out with buddies and travel the world, play music. It's much better than that. So, thanks for the question. Did I, did I do okay? Did I step in any dangerous spots? No. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hi, David. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you, too. you know, um, I think if you 
go about it in the direction that, you know, I, I always had another job, I always worked, until, to my surprise, I looked at it one day, not that long ago, and said, I, I think I can just focus on music right now. But it wasn't like I jumped out of the plane and hoped I found a parachute on the way down, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I, I wrote when I had time to write, and I worked when I had to work, and, and that was kind of the plan, you know? It's good to have goals, and it's good to have um, kind of a trajectory that you're going after, but um, I don't know, I don't know that it, I don't know that you're in charge of determining when to cut the cord, you know? You just kind of have to work really hard and, and take all the opportunities you can, and then suddenly you'll be like, oh, Maybe I, maybe I can try this out for a little while. I know that probably wasn't the right answer that you wanted. <laughs> I know some people would say, throw caution to the wind, music will provide, take your guitar and hit the road. But I, I, I'm not of that camp. <laughs> You're welcome. That's where it's at. Yes. Um, I just, uh, that dude, uh, my favorite voice of all time uh, comes out of that guy. So um, I just to be able to hear that live in person and, and feel those sound waves hitting me from his vocal cords would, would be awesome. Um, but I'd also love to see Queen do their thing live. You know, like, uh, on the complete opposite end of, end of the spectrum, you know, like a huge stadium and, and that guy sweaty as heck running around the stage going crazy. Um, yeah, probably one of those two. Thanks. Um, one more question, then I'll play a song. <laughs> Excellent question. <laughs> Probably my favorite question. So. <laughs> set like a dollar like a goal amount I'm not like I'm gonna make the album regardless but I put the goal at one dollar um, <laughs> which we've hit so. <laughs> um, but there's you know there's some fun stuff on there that if you want to be part of the process and get emails and pictures and updates you can you can join the join the craziness um, but if you if you don't uh, the album will hopefully be out towards the end of next year and, uh, and I don't know what's going to be on it or what, you know, what we're going to do yet. We've got a list of potential songs, so we'll see. Yeah. But the end, so that's that one, and then uh, same as Loudon in the merch room, I've got the current covers with friends that just came out, and uh, a couple other albums and some t-shirts and stuff, so and I think I'm going to be sitting at my table after this. <laughs> so come say hi. <laughs> Sitting in the morning sun How I sit when I need a car Watching the ships fall in Then I watch them roll away again So I'll just go sit on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away I'm just go sit Dark of the day, wasting time, time. 
Watching the tide roll away Ooh, I'm just sitting on the dock of the bay Wasting time, time Look like nothing's gonna change Every day still remains the same Just to make this dock my home So I'm just gonna sit on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, I'm just gonna sit on the dock of the bay Wasting time, time Um, well, Tough Mudder was, was a challenge, and I will say uh, it was m more of a challenge for some members on the team than, <laughs> than other members on the team. Um, but uh, it, it, was, it was so fun. I mean, it, you know, it was a, the only part about it that made me nervous, like I can climb stuff, I can climb a rope, I can, you know, pick up a log, I can carry Jared. <laughs> that, those weren't related. I picked up a log, carried, and I also had to carry Jared. Um, but uh, it was just the running, man. <laughs> I, there's no reason for a, a, a burly 265-pound man to run 10 miles. It's just not. There's no no point in it, really. <laughs> Uh, I think we're going to do it again. I don't know what city or where. And I think I'm just going to ride a four-wheeler and then do the obstacles. <laughs> and that'll just be a blast. Um, no, it was, it was really fun. And, you know, we were a team. You guys saw the video, I'm sure. You know, everybody was, uh, was running slightly more slowly. I was kind of, I was the caboose. I was the pace car. <laughs> um, but when you get to the obstacles, there's always, like, a big line. So, you, you know, you jog for the obstacle, but then you stand there for 20 minutes until it's your turn to go on. So it wasn't like I had run 10 miles in a row. Because I wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for the question. <laughs> Hi. I didn't always want to be a songwriter. Um, I always loved music, uh, and I loved every kind of music. I grew up in Virginia, so obviously I grew up listening to a lot of country and stuff, but there was always, uh, you know, my mom was always playing Billy Joel and Michael Jackson and Prince in the house, and um, my dad would listen to old, like, you know, Conway Twitty and Kingston Trio and stuff like that. Uh, and my brother was exclusively into hip hop. Um, <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> he was exclusively a hip hop. That's all I listened to, and uh, and so my influences were were very wide, and uh, and I just always loved it, all of it. And I never really thought of myself as a musician. I could sing, you know. I thought I could sing, carry a tune a little bit, but um, but I never performed. I played a little bit of guitar in high school, went to college, and uh, and tried to walk on the basketball team. Um, and they were like, why, why, why would you think you could play basketball? Like, weird. Uh, I was like, yeah, I didn't really think it, I didn't think it through. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I almost made the team. So they said, but who knows. And uh, so I was walking back from the coach's office, and, and I, I, did, I was slightly confused, because all I did in high school was play sports. And so I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do in college for four <clears> or <throat> five years. 
<laughs> without playing sports. And I saw a sign that said, if you like to travel and you like to sing and you like to have fun, join the stairwells. It was this a cappella group from the College of William & Mary. And uh, I was like, I like to have fun. I like to travel. Like, maybe I can sing, I have no idea. So I tried out and ended up getting in and that was kind of my first musical education was an a cappella group, which was cool because it taught me a lot about harmony and tone and all that. And then just being in that group and seeing guys who were actual musicians, you know, the guys that would take the song off the radio and pick out the parts and arrange it, and the guys that played piano and, you know, actually played instruments. And um, that just really inspired me, seeing somebody my age that could create and craft and, and write their own music and write their own songs. So I, that's kind of what was my inspiration, my, my peers in that singing group. Thank you. Thank you. So this is another tune from the uh, cover album. I'm just grabbing my hair. Listen to you, sing. you don't have to say that. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, so, Jason, uh, Jason, uh, did you tell him about the station breaks? I did not yet. I was waiting for to have my. Right. I, I can't get up here, so they had the visual <laughs> of what the station breaks would look like. I love you too. <laughs> uh, Why are you acting all shy? I'm not. You don't make me blush. <laughs> Um, so I, uh, so Billy and Jason and I uh, formed a little side project group that we call the Station Breaks, and uh, we have made an album, songs. It's uh, pretty damn near done now. I'm just looking at like maybe. What do you think? When do you want to release it? Uh, November. 
how's three? How's three p.m. work? For you? Three p.m.'s good. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's next, next month. I think. Next Whenever month we're, we're ready. ready to go. Now we're just packaging it up and, and printing it and, and whatnot. So anyway, it'll be out soon. And um, this song is the only song on it that is not original. We uh, it's a cover song, but uh, it is on the album. And uh, anyway, we hope you like it. <laughs>